Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age, Dave here again. Welcome back to my empire for part 13 of my back half of April video series. This is Saturday, so it should be part 14, but I didn't film it yesterday because I was feeling lazy. I didn't want to. <laughs> but just like the other day when you got two videos same day that's what we're going to do today we're going to film part 13 right now followed immediately by part 14 the end of the series and they're going to upload both of them tonight as you can see in front of you i have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Casey Jones and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Secret of the Ooze Ultimate Shredder. Hell yeah. As you can probably see by the dust on here, I've had the Casey for a bit. That Splinter, or not Splinter, Shredder for a little bit as well. Ugh. Woo! Had to pause the video for a moment, folks. I had a sneeze well up on the super quick, and it would have been loud. <laughs> I do not sneeze small. Almost embarrassing. But I just didn't want to have a recording of my snot rockets. <laughs> Ultimate Casey Jones. Ninja Turtles on the top. Don't feed it to children. Product shot on the sides. Product shot on the side. The credits are really small on this one. There's a barcode. I think they're still available out there in the wild. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen one. Casey Jones. There's product shots with the unmasked head of Elias Coteus. We were super happy that uh, during the process of getting the April O'Neil figure straightened out, Elias, uh, I wouldn't say capitulated, but agreed to uh, the likeness. And uh, we are thankful for it. Let's see. Now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live-action blockbuster film. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't feel like reading that anymore. <laughs> Product shot. Now, there's was the first release. I think that came out of the, um, the uh, Casey and uh, Raff in Disguise 2-pack. There is in the box I don't I feel like uh, getting all the accessories out of the other box so we're just gonna take a look at these ones in here and then we'll slide on over to shredder now that shredder I have photographed before so if you know my photography, Empire81 Photography on Instagram. Huh. A bit of a garbage truck uh, background there. If you know my page, you may have seen that before. There's a plastic cradle. We're going to lower this down, as I usually do. And we're going to rebalance the brightness. Because it just seems really bright. Let's go with that. Alright, we're going to get all these accessories out of here. A giant L-shaped uh, freaking tray instead of 
the uh, multiple little ones. And drop all of these accessories out all over the table. Put them over there in a pile. And get this one out. This one's super cool. Get the head out. that aside. Now I believe I have the April and Casey Farmhouse 2-pack. I believe he's uh, unmasked in that as well. That came out after this one did. As far as I'm aware. So we have a slightly different outfit for both of them. And if I knew where it was, I would show you, but I don't. Set that aside. I saved the majority of my NECA packaging. It's pretty sweet. Let's see. We're going to come up a little. Angle it down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I feel like this bag... It's slightly different than the other one. But like I said, I don't have it out to compare. Nice little uh, carrying bag. Hockey stick. Looks like it says Gorilla underneath there. What should it say? I don't know. Portland, perhaps? Nicely taped up. It's actually got texture on it. It's almost like they actually uh, wrapped something on there. We have a smaller stick. That's like a goalie stick or something. I don't know. And that's like a regular hockey stick. That's pretty sweet. We have a golf club, which is super flimsy. You can use it for photography purposes, but... Uh, don't put any weight on it, of course, because it will effing break. Let's see if you can get things to stand up here. He's got a right gloved gripping hand. And there you can see that all right. He's got a left gloved gripping hand. He's got a left half open gripping hand. So you can do something like gripping the flat of the hockey stick like this. Pretty cool. He's got a closed left gripping hand. So he's got two left gripping hands. Hmm. Interesting. Two left grips. Approximately the same. Two right grips. There's a half open left. And he's got a finger pointing right. It's like, hey, who's the babe? Cricket bat? Two baseball bats. What is that, a Jose Canseco bat? We have a mask. It's nicely sculpted. It looks just like the one on his head. The straps are meant for holding or hanging off of the bag. They're not meant to be used to put over another action figure's face. If you wanted to use it for that, you'd have to make your own straps. Cut these off and make your own. Let's see how many of these will fit into this bag. I'm guessing not that many. Possibly more than I think. We shall find out. 
because if you want to display him with all his accessories, not counting the not counting the um, hands, of course. See, you can't really carry all of them in there. Well, that's all right. We're not really going to worry about that. Let's go with the unmasked head of Elias. Elias Koteas. Elias Koteas. It is a really, really nice likeness. I don't think I'll be able to focus on it. Maybe if I go way back here, zoom back into it. There. Hey, I'm learning tricks with my camera, folks. My freaking phone. See, that is a really, really nice likeness. The hair is sculpted, flat. Looks like he actually combed it. That's, that's nice. Because I have that one there, I may have to use this head on the new one and uh, not worry about it. Uh, let's get this guy back out. We're going to go over the articulation on him and then point out a couple small differences. The head looks to be the same. You know, let's just do let's just do a walk around. They stand approximately the same height. This vest is slightly darker. The sculpt looks to be about the same. The chest there is the same. The pants color is a little bit different. Sculpt's the same. Shoes are a little bit shinier on this one. It's just little bitty details. The pants are the same. The biggest difference, I'm sure you've spotted it already, if you didn't already know about it, the solo release with the unmasked head has single jointed elbows versus the double jointed odd elbows. Now you don't get the same range of motion or same bend, but like that, mind you. But you get less weirdness, I guess. I don't know. He can look down. He can look up. A little fly or something. Not not a lot of up because of the hair sculpt all the way around. <laughs> Hockey mask puke. <laughs> You saw the elbow, same wrist. Yeah. This is a nice figure. Let's get the shoulders. Because his sleeves are rucked up into his uh, shoulder. When you do that, it doesn't look oddly thin like some of the others. If you hear snoring, it's not the wife, it's the dog. <laughs> this vest. Ooh, that vest is... That vest is not glued on. Is this one? Oh, look at that. I never noticed that. The bottom of the shirt's dirty, but if you lift up, it's not. Dude, you can take that vest off. That's so cool. 
then you could just have them in a shirt. Let's do Casey Jones split. Thick, heavy detents in the thighs. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. No back to the sculpt. About there forward, you can twist the thigh and get a little bit farther out. Oh, I just chipped the paint by doing that. I chipped his crotch. Let's see what happens when I do that. Oh, look at that. I'll take a look at that. Huh, I didn't know it's not actually connected in there. It's almost like a floating cod piece. Interesting. Knee pivot. Like Reeboks or something. Nice. I think my favorite part about the mast head is there are eyes in there. It is hard to see. But we're here for the Who's the Babe head. That's what I'm going to call this one. That is, to me, Casey Jones 2.0, right there. I like the finger pointing uh, hand. So that's going on. Right there. A. Hey. That's nice, that's nice, I dig it. Hey, who's the bay back there? Right there. Let's see what else. Hmm. Eh, we're going to have him holding something. How about the left hand, left hand? Which I want to a slightly bigger uh, grip. The left hand. Because we want him to hold one of the baseball bats. Everybody knows how to get them in there. Get him standing up. Are you messing with my pal over there? I'm going to come get you. All right, we're going to slide all of his accessories over to the side. Stand him right there in front of his previous self. That's a nice, nice figure. If you don't have it and you want it, go look for it. If you have it, and open it up, folks. It deserves to breathe. Let's reset the camera so we can take an overview, quick look of the Shredder. Top of the box, don't feed the children. Product shots, logos, product shots, logos, credits, real toys, barcode. These are, in fact, still available. I've seen them at mostly Walmarts. I think I've seen them at a Target. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Probably Walmarts. Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder. Some wonderful product shots with and without the um, cape. Includes spear, katana, sheath, flowers, mutagen, canister, ooze vial, and alternate hands. Product shot. Box shot. Let's get... Shredder 2 
out of the box. Accidentally ripping the label. I should know better than that. Let's see what the inside is there. Just, you know, a warehouse with ropes and stuff. Put the box to the side. Let's get his cape undone. Put that down there. Very, very nicely printed. Ooh, I noticed a big difference right away. We'll get to that later. Sort of how does Dave not get into his action figure? And previous shredder is jealous. He's falling over in protest. There is a tie. And here, there is one tie. This one's pretty loose. I think that is the only one. All right. This plastic cradle to the side. Cool. Let's go over accessories first, shall we? We have the mutated giant dandelion. Excellent. We have a straight blade katana with sheath and it snugs in there quite nicely with the rope wrap around there nicely sculpted that's a cool piece I like that the TGRI ooze canister mutagen canister very nice we have a tiny vial of ooze. Nice green. That, besides uh, being in a tight grip hand, like so, would uh, very easily get lost. So be careful with that one, folks. Speaking of hands, we have a left and a right grip. Nicely sculpted, nicely painted. We have open hands. A left and a right. Veined, gnarly. Hmm. We have this thing. I know it has an actual name. I don't know it. I'm going to call it a halberd. Somebody correct me. I'm going to bring my brightness up again because not that far. I don't even know if you guys notice the difference when I do that, but I do. It's pretty flexible. Be careful with that end because you could poke an eye out. Let's look at Shredder. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Up and down. Uh, not that far down. Right there. Stay where I put you. Yeah, that'll work. Dang it, guys.
All right, right off the bat, he is purple. I believe that is movie two accurate. Ah, I see, I see. I see what they did. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's go with the obvious similarities. He is about the same height, maybe slightly taller in the second figure here. Let's see, will he stand? He's a little bit taller. He's purple. The sculpt on the chest is different. The belting, the belt itself is different, but the underneath is a little bit different. Looks like the same legs, just different color, perhaps. The same shin guards, the same feet. Probably the same fist. This one's painted in a more yellow tone the other one's painted in a more pink tone the helmet is obviously super spiky all the way around it's got the exaggerated top the plates are plated whereas the other one's more chainmail the shoulder spikes look to be about the same The, let's see, the mask does come off, probably in a similar way as this one did, tucked in there on a little notch, his face there, his face is thinner and gnarlier, we're going to get these held up here. We're going to zoom in. That face is gnarly and scarred up. That one is angrier, gnarly, thinner. Similar scar across the nose and the forehead. But a lot more scratches because he's been through some shit. Let's zoom back out. <laughs> I can zoom in and out now. This cape. This cape is attached with a hook at the front. It has bendy wire in it. You can move it around and essentially pose it. The back is almost a shiny zebra print. This one is more of a shiny floral print almost. Let's put his mask back on because Shredder looks better with the mask. We have that one over here for the unmasked. Now, this cape also comes off, but it is on a small wire that is wrapped around a shoulder. Now, be careful because that wire, as I just found out, there's only one of them. It's not two separate wires. It is one that is fed through the top of the cape. Kind of like a drawstring in a pair of pants. Now that I yanked it partially through, it does not want to feed back. 
So don't do what I did and just try to unhook the one side by yanking on it because it won't work folks. Just have patience and work with it. You feel the end, feel where it's going. Try to thread it back through. And if not, yank it all the way out. Put a different wire that is thicker in. Let's see, will I get it back through? I'm almost there. I almost feel like I'm poking through the wrong bit. Hey, I got it. So what I'm gonna do now is curl it back on itself like so. A lot of volume in that cape. It feels really nice too. Really reflective. But I think this one looks pretty good without it. All right. Let's go over articulation. He can look down like that. There's a little bit of a dog bone in there. The neck moves a little bit. You can't get a lot of up. But Shredder doesn't really look up that much, does he? You can't really go all the way around because the helmet interacts with the shoulder blades. The shoulder pads are really beefy. Let's do shoulders. Stiff shoulders, which I appreciate. Up to 90. Close to it. Back down. Won't be able to get proper rotation unless you're careful, like I just was. You got to work with the flex of the shoulder and in and out it a little bit. Double jointed elbows, that kind over there. Same as the first release, just in purple. The these blades look very similar as well. Both pieces of the elbow joint work pretty well. Let's do a shredder split. For a ninja, that's pretty pathetic. Although he doesn't do all the super action stuff anyway. There's the back. There's a forward. He's loosened up the hip a little bit. Rotate it back forward. Double jointed knees. Stiff. We get that. Almost kick himself in the butt. Ugh. Get that back straight. Let's do the other one. How about it? A lot of... You gotta be careful with the spikes. You don't want to pierce yourself. You don't want to bend it beyond fixing. Ankle joint's a little loose on mine. Hope it's not actually backwards. Because then I'd have to screw around with it. I don't like that. Let's see, waist. I didn't do waist. Not a lot of waist. turn out a little bit it's a little bit more difficult for me to stand than that one I'm pretty probably gonna pose him without the 
cape since it was such a butt. I'm going to put the mask back on him. If that wasn't supposed to come off. Oh well, it did. There's a face, so I'm guessing it was supposed to. Let's get that reattached. There. Good enough. Let's see. I like the idea of him holding a katana because everybody needs a katana. Ah, that also comes off. So you can move that if you wanted to. Definitely watch how it came off or you won't get it back on easily. <laughs> of course, now I've got to screw around with it. Maybe it just kind of floats. I don't know. Let's get the... Eh. Okay, so the wrist part does float. Let's get the grip hand on both sides. the flower why not it's a fun accessory we're gonna use it and we're gonna put the katana in the other one because he's looking for love and if you can't get it he's gonna stab a bitch <laughs> that's terrible is that even on right yeah Alright, I'm, I'm going to probably come close to ending it there for my Casey Jones and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Shredder uh, double unboxing for part 13 of my Back Half of April video series. What do you think? Do you like these guys? Do you have them? Do you want them? All that good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Deuces.